What up boys and welcome back to yet another video. So in today's video we're going to talk a bit about the best gold farms in 9.2 Seraph Mortis and that is because I want to gather all of them in one video because I feel like we've discovered most of the zone and most of the potential farms. But of course if there's going to be some new farms that somebody uh, or that I personally find out about in Seraph Mortis, I will obviously upload a video on it. So make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel if you want to be notified whenever that happens. But like the majority of the farms has been discovered. So I want to take a time to talk about my personal uh, top five best gold farms in Seraph Mortis. And this is a list of solo farms, right? So there's a ton of farms that should and can be done in a, a five-man group or even a two times four group. But like, if that is of interest, I can make a separate video on that matter. So all of the uh, the farms that I'm going to be talking about in today's video is going to be listed down in the description if you guys want to get some uh, additional information about the farm, right? So before we start, I do want to mention that you guys can still get the 0 to 10 million gold guide and by using code SHADOWLANDS you get it for 50% off. It's basically an in-depth gold guide that I started making over a year ago. It contains all of the best methods that I personally use uh, in order to achieve multiple gold caps. And the best part about the gold book is that whenever a new patch like 9.2 or a new expansion comes out, I'm updating the book for that patch and expansion. And if you've already bought the book, you get every single future update uh, for life for free. So make sure to check it out. It's going to be linked down below in the description and also pinned comments. So... In Seraph Mortis, and the first farm that I want to talk about uh, is the Epic Swords. So a lot of you guys probably know what I'm talking about. If you don't, it's quite easy to figure out the price of it. Just sort by weapons and then highest item level and you have this one, Varus uh, something something. Now the sell rate on this is really damn good. It has a high item level, kind of cool looking sword, and it used to go for over a million gold. It doesn't go for that much anymore, but still on some realms it's like half a million gold. So uh, I placed this as the number five on the list. Now this one, I, as I said, I got a video on pretty much everything, but this one is also, uh, there is a video about it, link down below in the description. But it is relatively easy. It drops off non-elite moss worn mobs up in this sandy area and there's like a bunch of like minor packs where uh, you can find these mobs and kill them some people has also claimed to receive the the blade from the chest like the treasures in the area i personally haven't received any from chests and i've done uh treasure farming for like 15 hours in total i also haven't heard about anyone like in the, my close community that has received it from a treasure so uh uh, I'm not sure if that is correct. Right now, I've only personally seen it, but many times, though, drop off the non-elite moss worn mobs. So, a quite easy farm to do. Now, after that one, and the fourth best farm on the list is going to be a fishing farm. Something that I don't normally do a lot. Uh, but, um, like, this video right here, you guys can always so see the mount, the jellyfish mount. And whenever the expansion dropped, people were selling this for literally millions. Anywhere between 1 million to 3 million gold. Like, you couldn't buy it for less than a million gold. Until people became aware of it and everyone started to farm it. And now the price has gone down on it. But fishing for the strange goop... Uh, it's a super easy farm to do as well, where you just throw out your pole and you fish for uh, the mount. And well, you don't actually get the mount. You fish for a regent that's needed for the mount. But it's super easy. Everything is well explained in the video. So if you like fishing, uh, it could be something worth looking into. As long as the price on your realm is uh, decent. That's the thing with all of these farms. Like, it's realm dependent. On your realm, it might be very good to fish for the strange goop. Uh, while on my realm, it might suck, right? Like, I'm way better off doing some of these other farms. So... Always make sure you check the price on these before you do any of them. So the next farm is uh, a great one. It's actually a, a bunch of different farms. But this is one example. And this uh, these are all the protoform crafting regions. So you have this one, for instance. Or uh, you can do uh, the B1. It's basically just a bunch of new materials that came with 9.2. 
And these materials, also called lattice, that's the sellable version, are used to craft these battle pets. So you could either solo farm and realm jump a lot of these super efficiently, and you can sell the lattice as it is, and some of them go for a really hefty price. Or you can also farm the glimmer, which is the BOP material needed as well. You need one BOE, which is the green lattice, and one BOP glimmer uh, in order to craft mounts and pets. But you can sell the lattice as it is. I've sold quite a few of these. Or you can uh, also just craft the battle pets and sell the battle pets on the auction house. Uh, but in the video uh, that I just showed you guys, there's uh, a link in the description of that which will take you to the full guide on protoform uh, farming or like which type of mobs can drop the different materials because there's a ton of them. Uh, it is worth mentioning though, you can't farm these materials until you've done this research right here, Sopranian understanding. As you can see, the uh, lower part of the text says, improves your understanding of the uh, synthesis forge, allowing for the large... Allowing for the discovery and creation of larger creatures. So this one, you need to have this one learned. Otherwise, the materials for the mounts and battle pets can't drop. Um, and that makes it to uh, the second farm on uh, the... No, that's the uh, the last one. My bad. That's the last farm on the list. We did the two-handed sword, fishing for the gobber. And then we got realm jumping for lattices. And then the fourth farm that I want to talk about is also realm jumping... Uh, but that is for rare elites. I also did a video on that, uh, like realm jumping rare elites. So uh, a very popular one is Akaris, right up in the middle right here. Because Akaris drops the, the new silk, the 9.2 silk, the proto uh, silk, and it can also be skinned for the protogenic pelt. Now there's a ton of different elites that you can skin. Like even right up here with the teleport thingy, there's two different rare elites that can be uh, that can be skinned when you can just constantly realm jump them. Or you can go down to this pool and you can uh, kill it and realm jump this rare elite that spawns in this pool right here. Uh, no, it's actually this pool right here, my bad. And he can be mined and also drop the, uh, the new silk. So that's a great way of making gold. People are making a killing doing that. But once again, it really depends on the price on your realm. Like... Uh, Protogenic pelt in my realm is a hundred gold, so you wouldn't make insane amount of gold uh, doing this on my realm. It really, really is realm specific, but it's super easy to do solo, and it's by far the best way in order to get protogenic pelt or the new silk in 9.2. Now, the last farm and my favorite farm of all time. I absolutely, I think this is absolutely great, and that is obviously gonna be what I consider to be the best solo 9.2 gold farm and that's getting the uh the, the prog essential pretty much super easy made this video it has like 24,000 views people really liked it it's a very in-depth video talks about how you to get the most pro uh progenitor essential and now with flying, it became even better. Like, long story short, you pick up herbalism and mining. You mine this area. You can see I got all the nodes uh, already uh, discovered right here. You pick up two different buffs. One buff to increase your chance of getting the prog essentia. And one buff that will uh, decrease uh, your aggro range from mobs. It basically makes you almost invisible to the mobs. So it's great. It's going to make your farm way better. It's not that much needed now that we can fly in this zone. Uh, but the Prague Essentia drops from uh, mining uh, nodes, it drops from herbs, and it can also be in treasures. And right now, it's so much easier to reach the elusive spawn points and uh, like stuff that's up on a different level and so on. So it, it's way easier to get the Prague Essentia, and the amount of herbs and ore that you pick up right now is also way higher. However, whenever the supply is higher, the prices also go down because the, the uh, demand is roughly the same. But it's still a very, very decent farm. But once again, make sure you check the price on your realm. But you only need to average like two prog essentia, right? Even if the prog essentia is 15,000 gold each on your realm, that's 30,000 gold an hour just in the prog essentia. And every herb and uh, ore just comes on top of that. And I myself did a 10-hour video on this channel, and I averaged 2.5 Prague Essentia 
Uh, so I got 25 Prague Essentia after 10 hours. And that was with ground mount. That was without flying. So that number is going to be way higher right now, easily above a tree an hour, which means that even at 15,000 gold each Prague Essentia, you're looking at 45,000 gold easily without selling a single herb or ore. But that was it for today's video. So if you guys want a, a video on like the top uh, group farms for Seraph Mortis, or you just want uh, like any new gold farming videos uh, in the first place, like make sure you are subscribed to the channel and you will be notified whenever the next video drops. But that's it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the Zero, the 10 million gold guide, and I will see you all back in on tomorrow's video. But until then, bye bye.